My name is Wayne Miller, and I came here from uh, yesterday from Leewood, Kansas, to be uh, to participate in this wonderful occasion. And we've heard a lot of glorious things about Kyle that I can tell you are absolutely well founded. And I maybe have a good basis to know because I grew up with Kyle. I probably was close to Kyle before anybody else was here today. Uh, we were across the street neighbors on Rose Avenue near the university. And uh, I moved there uh, in the fifth grade and Kyle welcomed me right away as a, as a good close friend. And we literally grew up together all the way up through high school. Uh, I left town after that, but still kept in touch with Kyle. But we really grew up together in the way that uh, I saw Kyle in his formative years. And they, were, they, they really were great in all the things that we know about Kyle and memory, uh, I saw developing and I think growing up with him probably also contributed to my own formative years. Uh, we've heard some things today about how well Kyle could uh, recover from a setback or a defeat and go on in a positive way with life. And I saw that coming on very early. Uh, we would do two things a lot. Uh, behind my house on Rose Avenue was a big concrete driveway with a great basketball goalie court. Uh, much better than anybody else had and much not like what you see today, but, but very good. And Kyle, I like to think that we developed his basketball game uh, as a young, young fella uh, behind my house. And perhaps he developed mine too. <laughs> and the other thing we would do is that we had a woods right next to there where uh, the, the Circle Theater, uh, later Circle Park Theater was. And this was during World War II, so we would go there and play you know, war, war games, shoot guns and all, uh, which they don't do today, but remember when it was. Well, anyway, uh, the story about Kyle ba bouncing back from adversity is shown here. Uh, we were coming home from Staub School, which is two blocks away, uh, in the fifth grade in the spring of the, after the Battle of the Bulge. And Kyle did not come to school that day, and then he came to meet us halfway, Billy Bell and me. And he had a newspaper, and I knew what it was. It was this older brother, Ben, he held the paper up I didn't need to look at it, I could just see the picture, and Ben had been killed in action. And, uh, but he rebounded, right after that he went back home, and the next thing you know in an hour or two he was with us on the basketball court. And uh, a day or two later he was with us in the woods, you know, playing, playing war games. What a way to, to rebound. And then when they had the uh, service again, when they brought back the body, which people often did, but the flag draped over the coffin to the Tesherman's house, this was a few months later, the war was over. After the very solemn occasion and service and all, fourth thing I, first thing I knew, an hour or two later, Kyle's back with us on the basketball court and you never would have known uh, what he had been through uh, several times in his life. So uh, his character and his ability to handle adversity and to go on in a positive way with life, I saw growing up and it's really genuine and sincere.